This is the moment that all designers get so excited about. It's the moment that we get to bring our clients into their home and show them their finished product. It's where all the elements come together perfectly to create the home of their dreams. This is the reveal, and I'm so excited to bring you in and let you be a part of it. So we are here in Encino, California at our project, The Little Encino House That Could. The neighborhood has been around since probably the early 1940s and has overall just blown up since then. We have a ton of young families moving in around the area, new houses going up, old houses being restored. And this is our house that was built in the 1960s and it has been added onto about four times since then. We definitely wanted to keep the landscaping super simple. We wanted to keep all the greenery going throughout. We wanted to make sure that we stayed really true to that California and that fresh vibe that we have out here. The palm trees have been growing for the better part of the last 40 to 50 years. And you can see that because they're super grown, they're adult palm trees. And that is what California is about when you think about it. It's about the green, the palm trees, the sun, and just living a really happy, fun life. So we wanted to keep everything super private. We put in these privacy hedges so that our clients could have that feeling of security and privacy. We are on the corner of a major street here, so we wanted to make sure that they kept all of that just sense of security with their property just because they do have a young child and multiple pets. So we put in the privacy hedges throughout the entire property. We kept the little palm trees as well throughout the front and then the shiplap on throughout the front of the house and the shingle roof are all original and we did want to keep that as well just because it was one of the original things of the house and we just wanted to stay true to the design. So now that you've seen the outside of our little Encino House That Could project, we would love to take you inside to give you a little tour of everything that we did. So we are in the main part of our little Encino House That Could project, and our focus here was to create as open of a space as we possibly could while making sure that the kitchen really was the focal point of this entire room. So in the kitchen, when we first got here, it had two off-center windows, which drove me nuts. And it also had about an 11 inch drop in the ceiling to the kitchen from the great room. So it kind of made it feel a little cut off. And in addition to that, there was also a post running through about a five foot island in a gigantic opening. And it was just something I couldn't take. So we had to remove the 11 inch drop. We had to remove the island. We had to remove the beam. And we had to, of course, move the windows over to make it more symmetrical. So when we did all of that, it really just created such an open space and such an open vibe to the whole kitchen, which our clients just loved. And considering that they do enjoy to cook and they have a two year old, it was really, really important that the kitchen was super usable and just like a really main focus of the house and the project itself. So we put in this gigantic island, which is over 10 feet. It's got a ton of storage in it, which I feel like you can never have too much storage in a house, especially when you have children. And we wanted to make sure that we just kept the textures running through. So we did a handmade ceramic tile that we went all the way to the ceiling. We wrapped the windows. We really just went for it with the texture on that. Uh, we did these linen shade custom sconces over the two windows to really draw the eye towards the backsplash. We really wanted to make sure that this back wall was a major focal point of the room and of the house in general. I feel like tile is always meant to go all the way up to the ceiling. It's the best way to do it, so why not? Mm -hmm. 
We wanted to make sure that we kept all the warmth in here, so we did brass accents on everything, and we didn't want to just do white cabinets either. So we went with kind of like an off-white color, which is really pretty, and it's one of my favorites as well. So we did all the cabinets in that, and then our floating shelves are a custom wood stain that I picked myself. We picked three or four of them, and then we narrowed them down, and both my client and I just really loved it. The whole kitchen was really, it was something that was super fun for us to do. It was such a great thing that our client allowed us to move windows in our house, especially since they were living here at the time. So we were kind of ripping out a wall while they were here with a baby. So it, that was amazing of them and we really do appreciate that. And at the end of the day, it is our clients that we're doing this for. Our projects and everything that we do is centered around our clients and the way that they live best. So the kitchen just needed to be somewhere beautiful and usable for them. So we are in the dining space of our great room and again, we can never stress this enough, you can never have too much texture in a room. So we got these textured and woven chairs that have both a kind of coastally outdoor feel but also like a warm and inviting feel that you just want to sit in and you really just want to have a dinner party and just converse with friends and family and have a good time. Again performance seats on these just because you can never be too careful and with children running around you got to have as much protection as you can possibly get so we went with performance seats on these as well the table we wanted to make sure it was big enough for at least eight people but if you wanted to squeeze more than that you could so we went with this oak table that has a beautiful gray stain to it um, again pulling in from some of our other architectural aspects of the house our wood stain on the beams and the shelves in the kitchen we made sure that we accented it with our gray ceramic vases that are also handmade and we love them. They add in another great texture in the space and we, you can never have too much pampas grass. So we definitely brought that in. And again, our little touches of pink because you can never have too much pink. On the back walls, our clients had a ton of family pictures. So we wanted to really make sure that we incorporated them. We are designing for our clients and we are designing their homes. And it's one of the most personal things that I think anyone can do. And when they really trust you and they trust you to give them the home that they have always wanted and that they love, it's just so important to us that we make sure to incorporate anything and everything that they feel is necessary for them. So we had these gallery walls put up uh, with pictures of their dogs, pictures of when their baby was first born, of when they got married, and we just wanted to make sure that we got their personality in here as best as possible. We wanted to keep the texture running throughout, so we did a blue linen wrapped console for the dining area. They didn't need a ton of storage because we put most of the storage in the kitchen island. So we just wanted to give them something a little bit extra for the space, something that they could store some extra things in, coasters, whatever they need to, maybe throw some car keys in it. We are right next to the front door and display some other pictures and things like that on. So we definitely wanted to bring that in and we also wanted to keep the blue running throughout. And like I said, you can never have too much texture. We are in the second bathroom and this bathroom is meant for their daughter when she is old enough to have her own this is going to be hers so we wanted to make sure that 
We kept it a little bit feminine, but also stayed with that coastal vibe that we have just going through the entire house. So we did this piece mosaic floor, which is in the shape of a, I guess a flower star. I don't know what you want to call it, but I'm going to call it a flower star. And it was just super pretty. And it was just such a fun way to bring in another texture, another color and another print. Uh, we wanted to keep with, again, the texture of the entire bathroom, so we went with a textured linen vinyl. You have to have vinyl in a bathroom on your wallpaper or else it will start to peel from steam. So we kept that in mind as well. So we did the linen vinyl on the walls. And then some linen shades on our sconces are Raffia Wrap Mirror with our brass accent, which we love. Again, one of our favorite things is texture, so you're gonna see it in every single room throughout the house. We went with a super fun blue vanity, which was a color that we picked that we wanted to make sure it had the right amount of gray and the right amount of blue in it. We mixed our metal tones because it is, again, something that's a lot of fun and a great way to add in some visual interest. So we matched our sconces to our cabinet poles here which we love and it's just a great way to elevate a design and anything that you're doing. Our fixtures again are brass. We wanted to make sure that we kept that continuity running throughout the entire home. It's just always better to make sure that all of your finishes are matching throughout everything that you're doing when it comes to plumbing fixtures and stuff and then your accented fixtures like your lighting and your poles and things like that can be something different to switch it up a little bit. Our counter in here is also a white quartz. It's just super easy to maintain. You don't have to worry about water spots or staining or anything like that over time. So we made sure that we kept that up in here as well. Our Roman shade in here was really important that we wanted to add in some color and we also wanted to add in some texture. So we went with this embroidered fabric, which I think is super pretty. It's embroidered on linen with varying shades of blue and little tassels, which I love. So that is our shade. And the shower is something that was really important. They needed a tub to bathe their daughter in. When they bought this house, there was actually no tub in here at all. So we added in a tub, we took marble and we took Carrera marble and we went all the way to the ceiling with it. Again, we brought in the brass fixtures in here and then kept the polished nickel for the shower door. Lastly, we do always hang eucalyptus from our shower heads. It is such an easy way to get a spa in your own bathroom. Steam and eucalyptus gives you a eucalyptus steam shower and you're basically at the spa in your own house. So we are in the office of our little Encino House That Could project. This is probably my favorite space in the entire house. Our client is a doctor and she is expanding her practice to a third office. And we needed to give her somewhere to work from home, somewhere super fun and just somewhere that really brought a smile to her face every time she walked in. And what better way to do that than to incorporate a ton of color. It's something that we don't usually do, but we love the opportunity to do things that are different and not our norm. And she really trusted us when we said, let's go for some seagrass textured pink walls and let's do all four. We're not gonna stop with just one. So all the walls are a textured seagrass with a pink and a metallic undertone to it. So it was a way that we could just bring in a ton of texture, another warm vibe to the space and just kind of keep it happy and fresh. And I can honestly say when I walk in here, I smile and I know that she does every time. Because we love texture so much, we didn't just stop with the wallpaper. We came in with a linen wrap desk with some brass accents because again, you can never have too much texture and who doesn't love a linen wrap desk? And the 
Shades are the original CW Stockwell banana leaf print for the Beverly Hills Hotel. Our clients, one of her favorite places is Beverly Hills. All of her practices are there and she really drew her inspiration for everything that she likes to do from the Beverly Hills Hotel. So we wanted to bring it in in a different way. We brought it in with the original CW Stockwell print and we did it in a different colorway than the normal green and white. So it's super fresh. We put it on some Romans in the office, again, bringing in another texture, adding in another color, and just adding more interest to it. Behind us, we also have the white and brass shelves, which have some of her favorite books on it, some family pictures, some greenery, and just other ways to bring in the texture and the color and just personal items, which is one of our favorite things to do because our clients do live here, they work here. This is their every day. And lastly, on her bookshelf here, we do have a picture of her dog, Neiman. He did pass a couple years ago and she describes him as her heart. So we wanted to make sure that he was always in this office and he was always watching over her while she was working. So we incorporated his portrait at the very top of her bookshelf. We are in the living area and this is where our clients spend most of their time. So we wanted to make sure that we gave them something that was really, really inviting, but also just kept with the flow, kept it elevated, kept it pretty, kept it textured, and just kept it overall that coastally vibe that we're really going for throughout the entire house. So we went with a custom stained mantle. We, when we got here, it had kind of one of those super ornate mantles with the fireplace surround, and then it did have a green marble tile running through it, which we definitely had to tear out. So we took that out, put in our custom mantle that was custom stained to match our beams and to match everything else running throughout. We also wanted to keep the simplicity of color and texture and everything running through. So we didn't want to bring in a printed tile or anything like that to detract from everything else that we had going on. So we went with actually the same hand glazed ceramic tile that we had for the backsplash, but we put it in a different shape so that we kept that continuity of color and texture, but we didn't keep the same shape so that we didn't repeat ourselves too much. So we did that on around our fireplace and then on our hearth on the floor, we did bring in some quartz, again, to match our kitchen countertops and just to kind of simplify this whole wall, but still keep it a focal point in the space. We had custom fireplace doors made. They have a child, you can never be too safe, but we wanted to make sure that if they wanted to use their fireplace, even in Southern California, that we gave them that ability to do so without really being worried about their child getting hurt or anything like that. So everything we did, again, super family friendly and very child oriented. We definitely had to keep them in mind. We also had the beams in this room wrapped. So when we got here, they were kind of rough. They were a very red finish and they really just didn't go with the whole vibe. So we had them wrapped in maple and then stained to match the rest of the finishes throughout. And again, kept that continuity and kept that simplicity running throughout the entire house. As we walked into the living space, we really wanted to make sure that it just screamed, come and sit on me. 
So we love pillows, but we also don't want to overkill it with the pillows. So we kind of simplified them. We wanted to make sure that you didn't need to move the pillows to sit down and you could just sit. So we went with embroidered linen pillows and also printed linen pillows to bring in different textures and different colors and different items of warmth. And again, I love tassels, so you will see tassels on all of these pillows. So the sofas are a performance linen, and we wanted to keep that kind of performance feeling running throughout, but we didn't want to put outdoor furniture in here, but it did need to be kid-friendly. So we went with a white and silver color on it. It brought in a really great texture, a really great depth in the fabric that we used, and just overall kept with that light and airy vibe that we're going for. The base of these is a natural wood base, which was also really important. We did want to keep that wood element running through. We did want to keep that elevated warmth running through as well. So that was a really nice feature that we had on our custom sofas for this space. Then we moved to our coffee table, which with children, we needed to make sure that it was family friendly. And since everything in the space really was pretty squared off, we had our square tiles, our subway tiles, our mantle, our kitchen island, our rectangular dining table. So we really wanted to soften the edges in here, especially because it is also eye level with a child. You wanted to take away all those edges. So we went with this Abaca wrapped coffee table, which was just another gorgeous way to bring in texture and to really just add a wow element, which I feel like your eye is just immediately drawn to this coffee table, which is just such a beautiful part of this space. And then we worked our way down to our wool tufted rug. It is a raised pattern, so it does have a two layer feel. We loved the print in it, we loved the texture in it, and we loved the color in it. And we wanted to make sure that again, we kept that continuity running through with the blue and the off whites and things like that. So that was our rug. And we also wanted it to be something that if you were crawling around on it with your child, you wouldn't get a rug burn or anything. And then our extra seating in this space, which are our maple and leather stools. They were really, really such a cute idea for the space. And we put them to frame the fireplace because we wanted them to be out of the way for the most part. But if you are entertaining and you do have people over, we wanted to make sure that you had somewhere extra for them to sit or they were just a really pretty aesthetic piece as well. So we kept that in here. Lastly, we have our eight foot banana leaf tree. It was, again, really important that we kept that banana leaf idea running through and that coastal feel running through. And with the vaulted ceilings and the whole scale of the room, the bigger the better on the tree. So we went with our eight foot tree there and we put it in, again, a woven basket with some leather accents. And lastly, in this room, it was really important that we, again, we brought in things that were meaningful to our client. So her dog, Bergie, is on the wall. She did have a portrait of him as well, and we made sure to put that in here so that he could always be a focal point in the room. So with any of our projects, we always walk away with a lifelong relationship with our client. We really immerse ourselves in their lives and we get to know them and we get to know how they live and things like that are so personal and we really pride ourselves on being able to say that yeah it was a great experience we had a great time with our clients and we'll continue to talk to them well into the future and you know always be there for them with whatever they need whether it's something design related or maybe it's just they want to go and grab a drink or go to dinner or something and we really do love that aspect of what we do so with my client from the little encino house that could i can honestly say that i have walked away with a lifetime friendship and I love that I now get to experience this house after the renovation for birthdays and holidays and things of that sort and it's just a really really lovely feeling that we get to walk away from all of our projects knowing that we have really made these new friends that we're going to be with for a very very long time.
something that you'll always find with any space that we do is you'll always find a sense of a very light, bright, and airy space. It's just something that really brings a smile to you. It's, it's really, really important to me that when you walk into a space, you just... It just makes you smile. There should always be an element that, that makes you happy every single time. And it's something that I I hold very near and dear that all of our clients can say when they walk into their home, when they walk into a specific room or pl- a space that we've done for them, that it just, it makes them smile. Thank you guys so much for coming on our tour of our latest project, The Little Encino House That Could, and feel free to catch us online at Ethan Charles Design.